Mm. Rats are like the rats of the universe. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 3, Episode Ghost Facers. This is the return of the Ghost Facer characters from the first season. It is a giant parody of found footage movies and the entire craze that the History Channel and whatnot would take advantage of and exploit beyond all measure. And this episode does a really good job at actually exploiting and just making fun of all of these tidbits that would soon and still are if i'm correct incredibly ridiculous huge fads obviously super duper fake but still bringing in a buttload of viewers this episode is about the ghost facers going inside this haunted house which apparently has something happened to it every year one of their guys goes missing and then the brothers come in and they have to work together essentially to save each other this episode is very similar to that of the hell house episode in the sense of trying to figure out and pinpoint what is the actual cause of what's going on because they're seeing death echoes of different ghosts people who have died in different ways one person being shot another one being killed by a train i love that little bit in this episode found footage movies are notoriously good at being low on budget to the point that that's why there was such a phase of them for quite some time not just because of what they were bringing in but also because of just how cheap they are to make. And to see an effect like this in a TV show, it was really well pulled off. Also, this episode probably helped a lot too because I imagine they made up a lot of this on the go because again, found footage movies are not as difficult to put together, especially when it's a filler episode. They do have that one little tidbit about saying that this was apparently the Grand Canyon for the brothers because Dean's only got two months left. There are just making sure you remember that he doesn't got much time left. There is one thing though missing from this parody that is notorious in all of these found footage ghost TV show things is a medium. And I would have loved to have seen a medium come in to this and then the brothers just rip them apart for being a falsehood. There are points where the quality of video has degraded far past the point of where they did it intentionally. There is also a line of jokes I imagine would offend some people nowadays. I still get a chuckle from it, particularly just how they have to talk to Corbin through the power of gay love. <laughs> it's definitely not one of the more memorable episodes of the season in my opinion. I always forget that it's a part of this season, but it's not a disappointment. Admittedly, when I saw that it was the next episode in the list for me to review, I was a bit, oh god, here we go again. I was pleasantly surprised it wasn't bad. So in the end, I'm gonna give the Ghost Facer episode a 4 out of 7. Now let's see what you guys have to say. You guys actually had a lot to say about this episode. Ghost Facers was a great episode. I loved how they poked fun at the reality TV genre that was very popular at the time. Worth it to see Sam and Dean swear, well, sort of. The story of the ghost and necrophiliac was creepy, but it's a fun watch. Love the practical effect with the decaying bodies. Overall, just fun to watch the episode. Despite people's opinions and the ghost facers are fun comic relief. Even in the last episode they were in, which was season 9 or 10, I can't remember, which wasn't very good. And that's kind of my point too. The last time we've seen these guys was years ago. I can't even remember the season they were in, but it was a bad episode. I think the Ghost Facers get a lot of crap that's pretty unwarranted. Obviously the episode is shot like and is a spoof of shows like Destination Truth, Ghost Hunters, etc. I think it's honestly parodies those types of shows really well. I found this episode hilarious and I think the Ghost Facers have been dealt a pretty crap hand they've had in every season past five. And yes, that is 100% true. Ghost Facers might be the cringiest stumbling blocks the brothers have dealt with, but the actor who plays Ed handles his emotions with a relatable feel throughout the episode. I love each character having a camera like a found footage film and all the actors holding the camcorders make it really believable. The director actually talks about it in the commentary that there were just no acting markers on the ground where the cueing and acting is for other words. Now what he means by cues and markers is that people will come to a certain spot on the ground and that's an indication for where to change the focal length of the camera for the aperture. So say if I'm walking towards you, the focus puller is going to be adjusting the lens and then they come up to that marker. There was certain actors who were notorious for clearly looking down. There was one big actor, and I cannot remember his name, but he was a big, big actor in the black and white days, and he would constantly do this. I think it happened in a Hitchcock film. A lot of it was improvised, and that's what makes this episode really shine. I also like how the Morton Mansion occurs in a leap year-like cycle. It's a real shame that this episode didn't get to air on February 29th, 2008 
because that's the when the leap year actually occurred in 2008 during season three. I'm pretty sure that's what the episode was going for anyhow. I guess their one excuse for that is they are seeing the recording of it because remember they do sabotage all of their footage at the end of the episode. I think the Ghost Facers was pretty funny mainly because I always hated shows like Ghost Hunters where a bunch of dumbasses poke around in the dark and scare themselves I guess. I just like Sam and Dean calling them out on how dumb and pointless shows like that actually are. I always like Ghost Facers. Wish the show would have done more found footage style episodes because I don't personally mind the filming technique but I do know a lot of people that aren't fond of the style. They're obviously parodying the ghost hunting shows and the members of the ghost facers are the embodiments of that. And I don't necessarily gravitate towards any of the ghost facers but they really are fun to watch at being dumb. I did like the heartfelt and the same time cheesy moments of Alan. Poor Alan didn't know what the hell he was doing and got himself killed for it. I will admit that found footage movies are a little bit of a guilty pleasure for myself. There was a, a strain that I was doing a, a bunch of them in a row just recently. I might get back on that. Yeah, I can understand how it it, it, it draws people in. It, it is a personal experience. I like watching them. Anyways, thank you guys again for your comments. There was a lot to say there, so that was great to see. Now the next episode is Long Distance Call. This is one that I remember very fondly for being a very polarizing episode for me. So give me your comments about that episode and I'll make sure to read those off in the next episode review. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.